Hello everyone, welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am bringing you another beautiful transformation of a piece of furniture that I was that it was actually thrown away. It was on the side of the road in the garbage and a family member saw it, grabbed it and brought it to me and I'm so excited. I cannot wait for you to see how it turned out. All right, guys, so as always, we need to get everything prepped for paint. So I got to remove all the hardware. I'm actually not going to reuse this hardware, so I'm going to re remove them completely and get everything cleaned, holes filled with wood filler. So I'm only going to keep one of two holes on each side of the drawers. And yeah, so that's just getting it prepped for, for paint. I use crut cutter to clean my furniture, but there are so many things you can use. The key is it's using like a degreaser or something that would take grime and grease and just anything that may be on the surface and also making sure that you then remove that detergent completely um, so that it is nice and clean and free of detergent or debris or anything that may be on it. So as I mentioned earlier, I got to fill one of the holes on each side. I'm going to fill the ones on the outside. This is wood filler. It dries pretty quickly, but I did leave it dry about five, six hours. And um, uh, it I usually get take like the one that's like pink and turns into wood color. But um, I ran out of that, so I just got this one, but it works perfectly fine. I'm adding way more than what I need because I want that hole to be really, really filled. When I blame you for the things that weigh me down. Cause in the echo of your silence I only hear what's best for me Yeah, in the echo of your silence I'm thinking more of her the paints that I am using is from Dixie Bell today. They sent me several paints this summer and this yellow one is absolutely beautiful. I'll have it linked down below for you. It has great coverage. I'm also using my um, chalk paint brush that I talked about last time I did a uh, tutorial on my furniture flipping or <laughs> furniture painting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give it two coats. Actually, it turned out being about two and a half. I did two full coats and then a third one was just kind of here and there where I needed it. I often get my paint in my paintbrush uh, wet again using the mister. That little bottle is like a, it just mists and it just keeps the paint nice and smooth as you're applying it, but you don't have to. It's just, I like to keep it nice and um, smooth and it just helps it. I don't wet it so much where it's dripping. It's just a little mist just to soften it. When I blame you for the things that weigh me down Cause in the echo of your silence I only hear what's best for me On this leg part, I'm just going to do a side-by-side -side of a very, very little paint on the brush like hardly any brush or any paint on the brush because I want to keep that dark and the, that darkness on the inside of the creases so I'm just going to do a side by side motion because if I did an up and down it will get paint inside the creases and I don't want that so I'm just going to do that on all four legs And I use the same technique here on this little detail. You can see that it's already dark, so I don't have to use antiquing wax or anything because I just dry brushed it on top. 
All right, so moving on to sanding. So it's been a few hours later. I am now going to sand. As you can see, I'm going to start showing you what it would be like if I used by hand sandpaper, which can definitely be done, but it does take a lot longer. So I did end up having to move on to my electric sander, but it can be done by hand. It just takes longer. I don't need all that excess wood filler. I really just need the little tiny hole filled. So I need to sand it down to where all I see is that little tiny hole. And then once that was done, I dusted it and make sure that it was completely dust free. And then I gave this, the drawers two coats of paint as well. start um wet distressing and so i'm just gonna have a rag it's already damp but i'm just gonna wet it a bit more um and then i'm just gonna start distressing just like i would with the sander um i like using towels because they do have a little rougher texture and it helps with getting the paint off but as always start with little pressure and see how it starts to go and then put more pressure as as you need to so you're gonna start seeing that it's gonna start taking some of the paint off um, and what the stressing actually makes it look very natural. I really have enjoyed it when I used done it in the past, but um, it does take longer <laughs> than um, sanding. So it's just a matter of what you want to do. It could have it could have been done with a regular sandpaper, um, and it would have been fine. But using the wet distress on this one, I thought it would be nice to um, just use it. So you see how it's coming off, and then once you you can do as you can keep going or just stop um so i'm going to stop on that but i'm just not going to move on to the little ridges in here add a few more distress see how much that came off so just i'm okay with that i like it to look organic um but if you if you don't want that just kind of go slower but i'll do that to all of the edges primarily where it would naturally distress i'm not going to focus on any flat surface like up here um, I'm just gonna focus on anywhere where there's like an edge and that way it'll look naturally distressed through the year and that's what I want this piece to look I want it to look like it's been it's an old piece vintage and it's been distressing and weather through the years
once everything was dry and uh, distressed and it was ready to seal, I, I like using Varathane polyurethane in the crystal clear but there are so many sealers you can use wax dixie bell has um, waxes and sealers so there's so many things out there this is just what i prefer and i'm using a sponge applicator that i do have on my amazon store i have many of these products in my amazon store and it's linked down below for you if you want to watch it um, so yeah i'm going to give everything three coats of the polyurethane using the sponge applicator and then um, let it fully dry I am finishing things up by adding these crystal knobs. I do have them on my Amazon store as well. I use them literally all the time. They're so beautiful, inexpensive, and I just love them. So let me remind you what that little table looks like. And here's what this table looks like now. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this color on it. The distress, I just love the way that wet distress just ended up looking like, and I am just so in love. Anyway, guys, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I thank you so much for watching, taking the time to watch to the end. And if you have a question, leave it down below. If you have a comment or give me a thumbs up if you really like this video. And if you have not subscribed yet, I invite you to do so and become part of our YouTube family. Guys, thank you so much. Have Be safe and have a blessed, blessed day.